See this back on 2012, the need for new physics. That's the Nature magazine. What hints of new physics should we be paying attention to? This is just a few days ago. Frustration search for new physics. Long-awaited muon measurement boosts evidence for new physics. This was just in April. And this is the one that I'm, I'm working on is muons. And I'll show you that I am working on muons, and I found muons, and they cannot find them because they're working with protons. I have started with light. Light is the smallest particle that exists. They don't even know what light is. I'm serious. Physicists have no idea what light is. All right, let's talk about what light is made of. What is light made of? It's called light is made of particles called photons, bundles of electromagnetic field that carry a specific amount of energy. Now, they say they're made of particles. Well, a lot of them say they're not made of particles. They're made of waves. Well, some of them say they're waves and particles. Well, that's true. They are. The particle creates the wave because the particle is a charged electron particle. It's a piece of matter. It's not a field. It has a field, but it's a matter that carries the field with it. So the matter is here, and the field surrounds it. You can't see the field just like you can't see fields around magnets. You look at a magnet, it's just a magnet. But you put it up next to another magnet, either attracts it or pushes it away. That is the field, exact same thing. As this flows through, everything that's here is bashing against, because they all have fields too. Every particle there is has a field surrounds it. So as this comes through the air, it actually bashes into these particles and excites them. And I can prove this and show this in our experiments. I am not guessing. I'm not drawing little doodles and so forth. I drew all the doodles I needed to draw. My whole life, I did this. So I can draw the doodles. I can do doodle as good as any of them. But I came out to the end where nothing is, everything that's made is made of dipoles. 100% of matter is dipoles. There's no such thing as a singular polarity, except for the instance when you can separate the charges. And that's only for a bazillionth of a microsecond. Let's look into that. All right, this is the New York Times. This is just a few months ago. A tiny particle's wobble could upend the known laws of physics. Yes, it does. The muons will wobble because they charge and discharge, charge and discharge as they move through the air. Let me show you. All right, the reason CERN failed at doing everything they did is because they went head-on at particles, billions and billions of particles hitting head-on and just digging through the debris. It's crazy because they, all they found was all kinds of different particles, yes, but they had no clue where they came from. They were just there, and they found a ton of these little tiny things, and they couldn't figure out what they were. Well, they were muons and electrons, and I'll show you the two of them, and I'll show you the, how they are achieved, and here's how they are achieved. Accelerating light. They say light can accelerate. Absolutely light can accelerate, and absolutely light is a particle. And I will show you the particle. You can see the acceleration. If you can't see that, you're virtually blind in my eyes. Okay, here's the whole deal. This is the light accelerating I just showed you exploding at the Venturi. It never would have done anything more than come through the air just like this, forcing all the little particles in front of it to glow a little tiny bit. But now, all of a sudden, we're talking explosion. And that it, this is fission where the black and white particle which is down here this is the particle shows up right here we never saw this before and nobody has ever seen it before except CERN and they don't know where it came from these are the black and white balls these are two electrons back to back the two electrons make a photon these will bounce off of you if you only had one of them there you just had one black and white ball that would be what was is considered electricity electrons Two of them together make a photon. 1839 of each one of these electrons in a ball, something like this, makes a hydrogen nucleus, an atom, which is the, the, the nucleus, is nothing but electrons packed together. It is not one gigantic ball of positiveness. They know this positive ball can explode into a bazillion pieces, and these are the pieces, because every one of them is electrons. It's nothing more than a whole batch of electrons together making the proton. And they become stable at certain quantities known as resonance, resonance values. 1839 is a proton, 1840 is a neutron. For some reason, that I cannot 
tell you. But I can tell you what, that is light, and that light came from a normal red laser until it accelerated, and we could literally see the particle. And then we can see them actually divide. What I just showed you is this. The black particle removing itself from the white particle, the white particle crushing itself through this tuned Venturi. It's just this little kind of a little bit specific, but not a big deal. And it only lets the white particles through, the black muons stay away. This should be raw energy as far as I'm concerned. And this is not my guess. This is exactly what CERN wants to see. If you can't see that, I don't know what to say. This is what they say. They want to see the muon neutrino attached to the electron neutrino, the black and white ball. They want to see it turn into the black ball, stays the black ball, and a white ball turns into a shower. If you can see something different there, I'd like to have you tell me why. And we know that that was attached. It's separated. That is fission. No question about it. They're coming back together here. That is fusion. No question about it. What's in between here is atomic energy. No question about it. I say we could take that atomic energy and use it to save the world. Because if we can take a laser out in a wood somewhere, in a little shoebox, and turn it on, and it creates uh, 200 times more energy than we're using, we have free electricity to just walk around with it, bring it into a disaster zone, out in the middle of the woods, underground, in a cave. you got as much power as you could possibly use to run cars and houses and boats and airplanes. 100% free. We can save the earth, we can save the water, we can save the skies, we can make food, we can clean the earth back up again. This is our only solution out of the problems we're in right now. I'm just, if you can find another one, God bless you. Okay, as I showed you before, there's the black and white ball. The black ball is the muon, the white is the electron, and they're in, in, the, in neutrino form when they're attached. When they explode, the white turns into electron showers. The muon does not change. Now, the reason they wobble is because as these are going through the air, the white ball, which is really the electron portion, charges up. You see it here? Look at this very careful. Now, think of what I'm showing you. Remember before I showed you the electrons flowing through the air and all of the particles in front were a little bit glowy? I'll go back and show it again just so we don't miss anything. This is the forward leading portion of the photon. And this is charging up. It's charging up because it's scrubbing against these particles, forcing it to excite. This one's trailing, so there's no crash. It's got this to shield it. It's got the black dark matter to shield it the muon. Now, and these are the electron neutrinos. Now, as it charges up and gets fully charged, bloop, it'll flip. And then this one will go to the front and this one will go to the back. And then that one will begin to exchange values with the things it's concussing with. And the th here's the things that it is concussing with. They're just very, very simple particles that are in the air and, and every, everywhere in the air. Hold on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is right there. All right, there is the, that's just a normal laser coming through the air. And because it's so powerful, everybody, it's a, it creates a wave from that one little tiny particle whoops, that was in, in here. So everybody is concussing and glowing, but it's charging that particle. And the forward leading tip just charged up and then it flips but it just spins and wobbles as it goes through the air. That's the wobble they say can change everything. And if we had new physics and we were able to collect that extreme amount of energy, the whole game changes. And then people won't be at our borders and people won't be starving and the water will start to clean up and the air will start to clean up and we may be able to get out of this mess, but I see no other way right now, none, zero. So if you don't get your, your congressmen and people to start paying attention to this, and Fermi Lab told me to just go away, don't ever talk to them again, and they blocked me, so I, there's no way I can get anybody to look at my stuff because I'm not accepted, I'm not peer-reviewed and all that business, which is it's ruining our whole country, this peer-review academic nonsense. They should be paying attention to reality instead of trying to boost their own little statuses and make themselves look like heroes. Who cares about being a hero when the earth is going to collapse tomorrow?